Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I really wanna talk about why having supportive friends in the same field as you makes all the difference, especially as an artist and especially as a small business owner. Um, being an artist and a small business owner, especially combined, can feel really isolating at times. When I first started this, I didn't know a single soul doing exactly what I was doing, not personally anyway. So I went out online and tried to find things as best as I could, but you know, as artists, we really pour our hearts into our work and that can make it very lonely, um, especially when you're just kind of, you know, doing your thing, putting the nose down and getting it done. And that's just why it's important to have a community of friends who understand the creative process and the challenges that come with running a small business. So I just wanted to share some of my supportive friends today and just kind of talk about what it's like you know, finding that tribe and how much that has helped me, especially in growth and I feel like also for the longevity of my business and my artistic journey. I think one of the things that I have found the most rewarding and the most valuable is just having that shared understanding. We all face, you know, creative blocks and deal with the different stresses, whether it's like commissions or signing up for events as fast as you can, just navigating the ups and downs of selling the work itself. When you have somebody who just gets it, it's just so much easier to stay motivated and feel less alone in the whole process. You know, my husband is very supportive and I have a lot of friends and family who are also, but they're not in the industry and it makes it more difficult to you know explain those ups and downs to them when i can go to an event and five or six of my friends who are close really fully understand just exactly how i'm feeling about things or you know we can have that discussion about how we're feeling about things and that can make all the difference in just being and feeling validated one of my other favorite things that I have recently had the opportunity to be a part of is a collaboration. So uh, stay tuned on my socials for all of that, but collaborating can be so much fun. It's so rewarding just because, you know, we learn from each other, we push each other, we try new things, you know, you get to step out of your comfort zone and that's where you really find growth. And uh, like-minded people are always the best ones to you know, find that groove with. So I wanted to take this opportunity to share with you all some of my closest friends um, and their best stuff. I'm so excited to do a little unboxing for you guys. Um, these are, you know, the people that I have literally spent blood, sweat, and tears with. Um, you know, it's hard out here with the military especially, but I honestly, I could not do it without them. So I'm gonna go through and show you all some of the things I've bought either for myself or for, you know, to send back home or something I have swapped for because I also love to do trading and things like that as often as I can. I'm going to leave everybody's businesses um, as an Instagram link in the description box below. So if you're interested in any of these, I definitely recommend you guys going and giving them a look. Not everybody is going to be able to ship from here because again, we have restrictions, but some of these ladies live off base and can definitely, um, you know, accommodate some of you all if you want to purchase some of their things. So starting off strong, we have Creations by Raylin. She is, um, a jack of all trades. She does all kinds of awesome um, vinyl products and she makes really great 3D cups and uh, tumblers and all kinds of stuff like that. This is the Never Trust the Living crew neck that I got from her for this year. I actually have another one that's got some fall vibes and it's different. You've probably seen it on the channel before actually. Um, I really love the the color patterns on this. She, do, she dyes that herself. And um, I actually bought a cup from her this time around as well. And it is, it literally might as well just have my name on it because uh, you'll see it here in just a second. It's, you know, ghosts and butterflies and all kinds of flowers and moons and bats and stuff. And like, look how super cute this is. And, you know, we have other people that do cups here and... I just, her, Raylan's quality is awesome. This girl really knows what she's doing. Um, I love that, you know, 
goes ahead and comes with the straw and she also gives you instructions on the bamboo lid care because not everybody knows how to take care of that so that's great her packaging is always beautiful her whole shop when it's um when she has the opportunity and it's outside it looks like a legitimate store she does beautiful beautiful work so that's in the description box below all right next we have and I'm probably going to butcher this. I tried to find out how to say it, but it's Tezukuri Lab. Um, she is absolutely brilliant with all these patterns that she chooses. They're traditional Japanese patterns, most of them. I thought this one kind of looked like Halloween with its orange and purple and black. Um, I'll also link her in the description box below. She makes scrunchies and keychains and lanyards and... Uh, I think photo frames, all kinds of stuff, and it's all, you know, hand sewn, which is very, very cool. And I have, I think, three pieces from her at this point, and I just keep buying them because I like these satin bows for when I go to sleep at night so they don't tear up my hair. And they're all very well made. All right, next we have Infinity Apparel. She is a handmade kids boutique. She hand does all of these beautiful little dresses and leggings and shirts and stuff. I decided I wanted to get this one for my niece and nephew. I thought it was a great unisex piece that they could both grow into because I'm also working with her on a collaboration where I'm sending my niece and nephew pieces of stuff that we have designed together and that's coming out very soon. So again, make sure you check on my socials for that. We have already dropped our teaser trailer and we're very excited. But I love her stuff. It's breathable. I wish she made adult clothes. Um, I get why she doesn't, but I would totally buy stuff from her if she did because all the material is so breathable and just her, her style. Everything looks like a boutique. It's really cute. And uh, if you get a chance to check out her link, I would really appreciate that. All right, next we have Vanessa. She owns Blooms and Blocks Printworks. And she does Linocut prints and she also makes stickers and stuff. This is her her logo sticker and a couple of Japanese inspired Okinawa inspired pieces. Obviously we have a dandelion which if you don't know is kind of a representation of the military kids here because you know they kind of float around everywhere and they go everywhere um, but I also just love a dandelion and then you have the lily of the valley which is very Japan or Animal Crossing, and I just love both of these prints. I love the papers that she chooses. She's definitely paying very close attention to that kind of stuff. And then the packaging obviously is great because I have yet to frame them, so they're nice and taken care of. She also recently started doing bookmarks too. These are the little stickers. And I really love these bookmarks because I mean, one, they're Halloween, and two, they're all hand done. So these are not prints. Everyone was a little bit different, which I really appreciate. And yeah, who who doesn't need a hundred bookmarks? Because I do, even though I'm an audiobook girl. <laughs> all right, next is Momo Keebs. Um, she is one of the newest members of our little crew, and we love her. She's got some awesome tech stuff. She sells keyboards and uh, key caps, key switches. I ended up getting this cord. I actually bought it for a keyboard that I have that I don't use regularly, but it's actually hooked up to my regular keyboard right now because I'm still looking for other colors. But this cream color was really beautiful. And I don't think I would have bought cream online because it would have been hard to tell its true color, I guess. Uh, but she also makes these awesome, really cute little like fidget toys, little keycap mashers. Um, here, I'll, I'll let you listen to this one. This one right here. So satisfying. I absolutely love them because they're small and I love little trinkety things. So she included some in a purchase and then I also bought one from her, that black shiny one was the first one I ever got and I built it myself. And then of course she had to do little skulls for Halloween and that's adorable. Okay, we'll have to put that away. Oh, 
one more. Okay. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, down to this cable. I have not ever seen um, a cable with a weight in it and I don't have it here pictured, but I am probably gonna get one from her because I loved the, just the aesthetic of it, like how it would sit next to your computer. Um, but yeah, this was so easy to put together and I love the case that it came in because, you know, we PCS and I'll just put it right back in here for it to stay safe during our move and I, I really liked that. I'm not sure I would have gotten a, a legitimate case if I had bought online. And then she also makes her own little stickers and uh, besides just having a cute logo, she also has uh, stickers of her cats in boxes and I don't know, they're just really cute. Like, look at them. I also listed her information in the description box below, so definitely check her out. And then the last thing I got from her, I, um, I would like to have my own Switch at some point, but right now my husband and I, I share a Switch and I just went ahead and bought these anyway because they're cute because, oh my god, look at them, they are capybaras. So I put those on my Switch because that's adorable. Alright, and then the most recent thing I bought from her was actually a desk mat. If I'm 100% honest, I didn't need it, but I could not pass it up. It was just so beautiful. I wanted one and I didn't really see one in kind of my theme until she showed me this one. And yes, it's Kirby. I do love Kirby, but I'm not like obsessed with Kirby or anything. But his, the vibe was immaculate. The frogs, the lily pads, the colors. I just couldn't say no. Um, at some point you'll probably see it in other videos but I didn't lay it down for this one because I had to do a lot of moving things around since I didn't necessarily have the room for it, but you know what? I made it work and now my husband is jealous and wants one too. <laughs> All right, next we have Sentai. This is, um, I think only the second time I've seen her at events here recently, but I love her stuff. Um, it all smells incredible. It's all like, anime style like the even the little brochure thing is like a, a manga which is really cool i love all of the names of her stuff this one is magical girl this one is smells like forest spirit and then this one was um i can't even read it from here i can't remember what it says but if you can read it anyway they're all really cute sayings and little quotes and stuff and then the manga is cool because it kind of shows you you know, how to use stuff because she sells everything from candles to um, like the actual warmers, the candle warmers themselves and stuff. And I'm a wax melt girly, so I had to get my hands on some. Three for ten bucks, like that's a steal. And I love how everything just fits in that little bag perfectly. All right, next we have Rita. Rita and I are BFFs. She's another watercolor artist. She typically does like um, homes, uh, especially for like military housing because everybody moves around a lot and they want to, you know, capture that in a piece of art and take it with them and then get a new piece when they go to their next place. But she also makes stickers and she uh, did a Halloween drop. This is what the Halloween drop is from. I have a lot more of her art, but this is just what I'm showcasing today. Um, these really cute Shisa pumpkins, both the sticker and the original I had to get. And then the little Seiko watch sticker is an abandoned building. Same with the one that's covered in vines over there on the left. And I actually have the original to the Seiko watch one for my husband. I bought that for him because he's very much into watches. Everything she does is adorable and it's typically Okinawan and Japanese inspired. Oh yeah, and the little ghosty is actually glow in the dark. But I just love her style. It's, you know, it's done sort of the same way mine is with ink and then watercolor and yet it's completely different, which I just love. We do a lot of hanging out because our businesses are very similar in some ways. Plus, she's just awesome. So definitely check out her stuff. Her um, Instagram is linked below. And we are also working on a collaboration as part of the other one I mentioned before. And I can't wait for that. 
And here is that painting. I did end up getting it in time to add it to the video and I just really wanted you to see it because it's beautiful. Next we have Natalie with Lucky Beach. She makes incredible gluten-free uh, desserts. These are the apple caramel, salted caramel. They were just, it was so good. But uh, that girl's tres leche. Everything I've had from her is amazing. And they're gluten-free. That's hard to do. So hard to do. And last but very much not the least is Two Blue, uh, owned by my friend Lorna, who makes clay earrings. I have just about every pair of mushrooms she's ever made. The quality is amazing. Her style is immaculate. Definitely check her out below. So even though being an artist and a small business owner can be really overwhelming, it's just really nice knowing that I have friends who understand the emotional highs and lows, the needing a listening ear, the, you know, bouncing ideas off of each other, the collaborating. If you're an artist, especially surrounding yourself with friends who uplift you and inspire you, that helps your art grow, your business grow. You become a creative part of the community, which for me was one of the biggest things I always wanted out of this. Let me know in the comments if you have friends in your fields that help keep you going. And I'll see you guys next week.